Ready? Okay. Oh, good evening, everyone. And my name is Hikari Miyabayashi. And today I'll be talking about the state of Chicago, uh, the city of Chicago. The reason why I'll be talking about this place is because I used to live in Chicago for about five and a half years when I was little. I hope you enjoy my presentation and I hope that I can show you the places that I really like. So first I'll be talking about where it locates. Chicago locates in the state of Illinois in the United States of America, and it is right next to Lake Michigan. And I used to live a little bit above Chicago, which is more of a suburb area. So it was a really nice place to live. And the place, uh, this is not my outline to, for today. And I'll be talking about three famous sites that I really recommend and three famous Chicago food that is very delicious and three uh, interesting historical places that I thought would be fun to listen. So to start off, the first place that I'll be uh, introducing is the Bean. The Bean was actually, the formal name of it is actually the Cloud Gate. And it was made in 2006 by Sir Anish Kapoor. People, it's a stainless steel sculpture and people take photos of them reflecting on it and post it on Instagram for likes. The second place is Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan is one of the five Great Lakes in North America and is second biggest by volume and third by surface area. I once drowned when I went there, so I really recommend you guys go when you can actually swim, but it's a really beautiful place. And the third place is the second to highest Willis Tower. It's not the second to highest anymore, but um, it's also called the Sears Tower and it's about 442 meters and 110 stories high. So when you actually go there, I think it's really big and I really recommend it. The sec uh, the, I'll be talking about the food and the first food is Chicago pizza. I think you've heard of it once, but it's really, really big. And one slice is kind of enough for one meal, even if you can eat a lot. And I really recommend the place called Luminati's. Next is Chicago hot dogs. Chicago hot dogs is, as you can see in this photo, there's a lot of ingredients on it, like tomatoes, pickles, onions, and mustard. You can add more ingredients of what you like. So you can enjoy a lot of flavors when you have that kind of feeling. The third dish is steak. Chicago is really famous for having a lot of delicious steak and thick steak. The um, place that I recommend the most is Texas de Brazil. The name is kind of Mexican, but the people, uh, the waitress comes on a stick with a lot of meat on it and they cut it in front of you. So it's really fun to be there. And I'll be talking about the interesting history at last. Um, there's a lot of places that I've introduced was more of a amusement entertaining places, but Chicago also has the deep sides of its history. And I really think it's really fun. And the first place is Six Flags Great America. Six Flags Great America, there's a lot of um, same amusement parks in America, but um, Chicago Six Flags was made in 1976. And it's about 304 acres and a lot of roller coasters are there. And the second place is Route 66. Route 66 starts from Chicago all the way to Santa Monica going through six states. And a lot of people take this sign since it's really famous for um, being history uh, from the history. And the third place is Chicago Theater. Chicago Theater was made in 1921 and was the first large lavish, pal larve, lavish, la lavish palace movie, movie palace and was the prototype for all the other movie theaters. This sign is about six stories high, so I think it's really big to see. And for summary, I talked about the bean uh, starting uh, and other famous sites that I recommend. And I, I talked about the food starting off from Chicago pizza. And I talked about the historical sites, including Route 66. And to conclude my presentation, I would really 
I would really like to say that Chicago is really a deep, uh, has deep sides and really fun sides. And I lived there for about five and a half years, but I wasn't able to go to all the places that are famous. And I think that when you want to visit, one week wouldn't be enough. So to sum up and ex to express it in one word, I would say Chicago is full of history and also full of fun. So if you go there, I think that you can enjoy and also be interested more and more into Chicago and find all the interesting facts. And for limitations, as you can see in this photo, Chicago is just, just is not about the buildings, but has a lot of nature. And so I would really recommend you guys go to some big parks and enjoy the nature in the big city area and relax your hearts. So for one last thing, I really recommend you go in the summer because in the winter, Chicago is just too cold. And as long as you're not used to the cold temperature, I think you're gonna freeze and just stay at home or at your hotel. So Chicago summer is really unhumid and not very hot. So I really recommend you go there. Um, all the, uh, some of the photos are from Flickr and the rest are from Pixabay under a public domain license. One photo is from uh, Flickr but has no access for me to edit the link so it's by just for Flickr. And I think you really enjoyed my presentation and want, have interest, got interested in this city of Chicago. So I really hope you go to Chicago once the corona ends and everything and when you get free. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much, Hikari, that was wonderful. And if I may start with a comment, I love how you are using the O and the airplane inside and the history. <laughs> I noticed that you had that tip of that building as the eye for history. So great um, design there. Let's mm -hmm. open the floor for anybody who has a comment or a question or anybody who's from Chicago or loves Chicago, you can share your love with us right now. Yes, Rav. Super quick comment. I've been teaching Pecha Kucha to TGU students for about four or five years. And about four years ago, I always ask the students, do you know Pecha Kucha? And they usually say no, and I have to teach them. But about four years ago, one of the students said, yes, of course. My mum works for the architect's office that invented Pecha Kucha. Wow. And I think she'd be very impressed for what both of you did today. I think both of your presentations were very good. The style, everything that I've covered in class, you girls did a really good job putting all that into practice. So yeah, well done. Good job. Thank you. Well done. You must have a wonderful teacher. And, and Rob is like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. Does anybody else have a comment or question for Hikari? You can speak or use the chat or raise your hand. Anybody else? Um, if not, let's give a hand to Hikari. You can unmute and clap or show your clap through video or show your reactions. Thank you so much, Hikari. Um, great job. And 